The husband of a Massachusetts woman who has been missing since New Year's Day was searching online for ways to dismember and dispose of a corpse when the woman's clothing and other items containing her DNA were found at a waste disposal facility, the public prosecutor's office. Discovered in he was indicted on Wednesday on murder and other charges. A plea of not guilty was filed on behalf of Brian Walsh, the 47-year-old, and he was held without bail in Quincy Circuit Court. Dressed in a gray sweater and tan slacks, he stood expressionless as prosecutors described the state's case. His attorney, Tracy Minor, did not contest her bail, but said her clients had cooperated with investigators in the past. Walsh was already being held on $500,000 bail after pleading not guilty to misleading investigators searching for 39-year-old Anna Walsh, whose body was never found earlier this month. The couple, who have three young children now in state custody, lived in the affluent coastal area of Cohasset, about 15 miles southeast of Boston. A few days after January 1st, Brian Walsh used an iPad owned by one of his sons to explore terms like best way to dispose of mutilation and carcasses, and how long it takes before you start smelling it. And quad. I did some online searches using cadaver and quad. Hacksaws are a great tool for taking things apart, Prosecutor Lynn Beeland said in court. Investigators also found surveillance video of a man who looked like Brian Walsh throwing what appeared to be a heavy garbage bag into a trash can at an apartment complex in Abington, not far from Cohasset. Surveillance shows that the defendant's Volvo and a man matching the defendant's appearance exited near the dumpster, said Bellin. He goes to the bin with the garbage bag in his hand. It's leaning and looks heavy because he has to lift it into the bin. And quad. On January 4th, when no one was still missing, Police performed a health check at the family's home and found that the car seat had been folded and had a plastic liner behind it. Bellin said chemists later found blood in the car. On January 8, a search of the Peabody landfill, not far from Brian Woolsey's mother's home, north of Boston, found hatchets, hacksaws, towels, protective Tyvek suits, cleaning supplies, and Prada handbags. I found a garbage bag in it. Boots similar to the last one Anna Walsh wore and a COVID-19 vaccination card with her name on it, Bellin said. Some of the items contained what appeared to be human blood, and testing revealed both Anna and Brian Walsh had contributions of her DNA, she said. Anna Walsh reportedly last left home in the early hours of January 1st, ostensibly to drive her ride-hailing car to Logan International Airport to catch a flight to Washington. It says, however, police found no evidence that she took the car or flew from Logan. She was reported missing by her employer in Washington State on January 4th, according to authorities. Authorities searched her family's home, the wooded area near the home, the Peabody Waste Disposal Facility north of Boston, and the apartment complex where Brian Woolsey's mother lives. Authorities previously said a knife and blood were found in the basement of the family's home, officials have previously said.